Okay. And then, um, if I look at her shoulders, from my angle at least, one is higher than the other. Right? So I'm always comparing one thing to another. Okay? And then I'm going to simplify her torso into, uh, it's a square now, or rectangle, but it's going to, I'm thinking, about, the way I'm thinking about it, it's more like a uh, box. Okay? And the same for her pelvis. Uh, I'm thinking about it as if it is a three-dimensional form um, with different sides, the front, the left, and the right side, top or bottom, depending on your eye level. You see what I'm doing, you guys? Can you guys see what I'm doing? Uh, describe to me, what am I doing? If you had to describe to somebody what Mike is doing right now, what, what would you say is going on here? Painting boxes. Say again? Painting boxes. Painting boxes? Yeah, do you, do you see why um, I would do it this way? What are some, what are some things that are, are uh, the way I'm doing it? Like what, what are some things that the boxes are communicating right now? Yeah. Dimensions. Dimensions. Planes. 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 Yeah, planes. Very good. And I'm being very general right now. I'm not worried about um, little planes. All I'm worried about is, okay, look, I'm looking at this leg, and I know that that's the top, and I know that that's the side. Where that happens is not as clear as I'm making it. But um, as, I, as the painting progresses, you'll have time to make it a little bit more subtle and make the turns a little bit more softer rather than um, as harsh, okay? And what about her head, okay? Same thing, you know, I'm thinking about it as um, a box form. But here, if you have some experience and you do it with like ovals or the egg shape, by all means do that, okay? Uh, because look, if I use an ovo, I just have to put a more line. I have to put a little bit more lines to indicate where, you know, so you can say like this is the side or that's the front. Does that make sense? This is the top half and the bottom half. So you gotta just go an extra step. Does that make sense? All right. So I, for this demo, I have to keep reminding myself to not get seduced by details. I wanna paint that nose, I wanna paint that, you know what I mean? I want to paint all these other things that um, won't necessarily make a difference until I got the big things down, okay? So, let's see here. Again, when I'm looking at one shoulder, I'm looking at another shoulder. When I'm looking at one hand, I'm looking at the other hand to see what the relationship is to each other. Okay, when I'm looking at one knee, I'm looking at the other knee, okay. Um, from my angle, I'm not standing directly in front of her. I mean, I'm in front of her, right? But this would mean, this is more like directly in front of her. And it's important because her center line is not gonna be in the center of this box that I've drawn. Does that make sense? It, it, that line would only be there if I'm standing over there, okay? So this center line is to, or I should say, this side of her body is bigger than this side of her body from where I'm standing, okay? So, all right. You can look at the bottom of the breast, okay? And see which one's higher, which one's lower. And you make these marks, okay? Um, and you have to be confident um, you have to feel a little bit confident that you're, you're able to fix this if you get it wrong, okay? But if you try to get it right away, not that it's impossible, but it just takes a lot of the pressure off, okay? So, okay, it's back to the knee here. This knee compared to that knee, okay? Okay, I don't know, I feel like that's pretty close. Yeah? What about the thing she's sitting on? Okay, so let's make a mark there. Um, 
this chair, right? Let's see. If I'm looking at the corner of this chair, I gotta look at somewhere else to know where it goes. I'm either looking at this negative space right here, or I just look up to see what, the, what else it lines up with. But if I just stare at that corner, I'm not gonna know where to put it. You have to look at something else. Okay, so right now, from my angle, it's right underneath the shoulder. Okay, and I've made her leg too long. Of course. I always do that. Okay. Because legs, legs are long, right? Because right after I put that chair down, I looked, at, I looked at what's next to it. And I saw that, look at, from when I looked at it more carefully, I was like, oh, there's only that much space between the chair and the back of her knee. Look how far off I was. You see? Does that make sense? Okay. So again, you know, you, each thing, in for, each mark you make informs the previous one and the next one. But you have to really, it's a lot of concentration, okay? And I don't always talk when I paint, <laughs> right? But this is what's going through my head, per se. Does that make sense? Okay, so a lot of, I have to correct a lot of things here. And, uh, but the relationship between the knees are still the same. So I just have to move these dots where they, where they need to be after the, that correction I made for the long legs. Because what? Legs are supposed to be long, right? But this is, these are for short. Okay, and I can get into the whole, uh, I'm not a psychologist, right? But um, I'm sure you've heard this before, but you know, we tend to draw what we know, right? Rather than what we see. So we draw what we think we know, really is what it is. Right? We think legs are long, right? Yeah. I think our chins are so chiseled, man. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. All right, let me continue here. Let me see here. So just some marks for the drapery. Again, um, all right. I think my composition suffered a little bit. I think um, I could have moved her over a little bit more to the left, but look, I made that mistake. So you see, I can, I would, if I had more time, um, I have two options. Either just go with it and try harder next time, or start all over. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go with it today. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Any observations or any questions right now as I'm doing this? I have a question on the center line. I don't understand what you mean. The center. Okay. So um, if I draw lines directly. Um, down my body, I would, would consider that the center line. Since I'm facing you directly, that center line, it separates uh, two equal halves, basically. Right. But once, check out my center line, it's not going to do anything. It's just going to change its perspective so according to you. The center line that you're seeing? Yes. The one that I'm seeing. So see now, my center line isn't in the center anymore. It's internalized. Yeah. It's a center line, like if you were to actually run a center line down your own body. No, I understand yeah. that. But what is he putting on the table? On the piano? This one right here is the, the uh, one or the one, the one that's in the middle of what her, the object? Her actual center line. Okay. Yeah, which is not always in the center. Does that make sense? Yeah. So if, if, if I drew the center line that was like from my angle, it'd be like right down here, right. just like yeah. that. But from my perspective, it's over to the left, okay? Okay. All so right. in, that, in that square on, on her head, the face will be facing this way. In your square? Yeah. So that square, that's what you make that square down? Yeah. This, this square, this is indicating how much of her face I see. This plane is indicating how much of the side of her head I see. I see less of the side than I do of the front. Okay. That's what that... Uh, um, that's what that is trying to communicate. That's what I'm trying to communicate here, okay? So let me clean this up a little bit. I know it looks a little bit messy, and uh, um, it's hard to see what's going on with all these lines on here. So I'm going to clean up a little bit. Um, you, can, you can use your fingers. You can use a rag. You can use a brush. Use anything that works for you, okay? Because really, the technique is secondary. The concepts are really what's important, okay? So. Okay. All right, now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out what's in shadow and what's in light.
Okay, so what's in shadow right now? What parts of her are in shadow? Talk to me, guys. Her shoulder. Her shoulder, okay, good. And I'm not worried about the precise value right now. This is called blocking in. I'm just separating the light stuff from the shadow stuff. Okay, so um, her shoulder, right? Part of her face, her neck, yeah? Okay, uh, part of this arm here, this, the left side of this breast. Okay, so this is in shadow. This part of her abdomen is in shadow. And what else here? Uh, I don't have the arm in here, I need to put that in there. You can see where it's starting to get volume with him dropping in his shadows. The importance of you locking in, massing in the, the shadow structure on the body, no different than on the still legs. That's correct. You, wanna, you have to put them in earlier um, so that this, the body starts to have volume. And then also, it re-emphasizes um, the, the proportions, right? The shadow structure. So, okay, very, yeah, that's, that's correct. Um, also, I've been focusing too much on the figure. I've got to go into the background now. Uh, which is darker, the background or the figure? Background, right? So actually there's a cast shadow in here somewhere. And see how that adds to uh, the space, right? You know, now you have a figure in front of something, and this cast shadow helps with that. Okay. And actually, this shadow is pretty dark, and so is this um, drape in the back. But I think I'm ready to start to wait. Actually, a few more, a few more strokes. A few more. See, if, how do I know where the bottom of the uh, the orange drapery is. I have to look at her knee. Her knee's gonna tell me, oh, it's like a little bit higher than her knee. So a little bit higher than her knee, boom, right there, okay. Uh, this is all shadow right here. Okay, so. If you keep it thin enough, when you go to paint on top of it, this under layer shouldn't make, um, it shouldn't influence or muddy the colors that dramatically. Okay, so, um, instead of blocking in this right now with the uh, umber, I'm, I'm ready to use color. Okay, this is enough detail. Okay, for, for this purpose. Okay. Um, so when I, when I start I'm always, you're always thinking about value, okay? And the easiest thing to see is like the darkest thing and the lightest thing, is that right? Okay, what's the dark, what's pretty dark here? What's big and dark? Shadow to the side of her head. Shadow side of her head, what's even bigger than that? Drape. The drape, yeah, the blue drapery is pretty big and dark. Okay, so, break time, is that for, for that? Five more minutes, okay. Um, should, I should have squeezed out more paint on here, but I already have this blue on here. It's pretty dark. Let's see what happens. Okay, you tell me. Okay, this is this thing that I put down too dark or too light? Too light. Too light. Too light see, now you're telling me what to do. Right? Is this thing? So it needs to be darker. That's the first thing, right? Um, I have some burnt umber on here. I don't have black on here. Let's 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 add to that. Okay. Ooh, that looks pretty black. Okay, oops. Is there a rule about when you want to cover something just initially, putting the light down first or the dark down first? Uh, so, you know what, they're, um, light and dark, they're kind of like the same thing. They're both really easy to see. So if you choose to go with the dark first, that's fine. If you go with the light first, that works too. Okay. Yeah, okay, but the idea is to just pick out the things that are easy to see. So that way you get the painting further along. Okay, so I'll do this for a few more minutes. And is that better? Mm -hmm. Better, right? Not perfect, but better. Okay, so let's move on. 
And uh, how much darker is this shadow than this other side, the light side of it? A lot? Slightly? Somewhat? Somewhat? Okay, There's not a, it's not a high contrast there. It's dark, but it's not as dark as the shadow. And as long as you do that here, put something dark here, but not as dark as that, that's the key. Okay? All right, so let's move on to another area. What's the lightest thing? Her skin. Her skin. Yeah, any particular, if you think of her head, her torso, and from this, in this situation, her legs, like those three sections, which part is the lightest part? Torso. Torso? Torso. Torso, from okay. Where, like her, uh, her abdomen, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's, let's put something down. Are you guys excited? I am. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> okay. I am too. <laughs> um, so, you know, a lot of similarities, right, with working with the still life. Okay? Uh, the, only, the only difference here today is you have um, the live model here. That's the only difference from what you've been doing the whole semester. Same level of observation, same questions. Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's put something down. You tell me what's wrong with it, okay? Let's put this down here. Let's, let's Too yellow. Okay. Too white. Too white, that's the first thing. That's a, that's, too white has to do with a, a value judgment. It's too light, okay? That's good. The second thing, it's too yellow. What, ki what kind of judgment are you making there? Color. Temperature. Temperature judgment. So first is, how light, is it too light or is it too dark? Secondly, is it too warm or too cool? Too yellow, too red, that's warm, right? Too blue, too green, uh, too purple? No, no purple, nice. uh, Warm or cool, basically, okay? And the third, question is a little bit more complicated. Um, it has to do with the tendency that the color takes depending on what's next to it. And we, won't get, we don't need to get into that today. Does that make sense? Okay, so this is too light. All right, how, how do you know? Mm, it looks very white. Okay, it looks very white. Anybody else? You just, the, the, the reason why I asked it that way, I know it sounds kind of blunt, right? Is what, are, what else are you comparing it to? Right, so actually right now it's too hard to say if it's too light or too dark. We have to keep going, mm -hmm. okay? So, um, because we, I'm oftentimes, I, I get proven wrong all the time because I haven't done enough. It's too early to make um, 